Hi, welcome back to Tokyo Daily. Spencer here, giving you the latest from Japan. We're back with another episode, and today we're covering all you need to know about Japan's border opening coming up on March 1st. Stay tuned. If you watched our previous episode, this is old news for you. If not, let's keep you informed. Japan is set to open its borders starting in March, allowing students, business travelers to come to the country. However, tourists have to wait a little bit longer. Another big change for new entries coming in from March is a shorter quarantine time, ranging from seven days, three days to a complete exemption. But going through government documents, websites, and knowing exactly who can enter, under what conditions can be tricky sometimes. So here is what we know. Who can enter Japan from the 1st of March? If you are a foreign national currently not living in Japan and you have a sponsorship, yes, it's you. You can enter Japan from March. As I mentioned before, the government is giving fast pick to students, researchers, technical interns, as well as business people, both long and short term. Given that they have a sponsor, either a school or a company that will process your visa documents, then you can enter Japan from March. The sponsor's responsibility regarding your entry to Japan is to simply submit an online form and your visa processing begins. Simple as that. Previously, the Japanese government required sponsors to complete a two-week plan stating where you're going to stay and where you're going to go, which made the processing a little bit slow and it took a long time for people to come to the country. However, now, hopefully, with this big change, more people will be able to come to the country. The government has also promised to set up a call center to answer your questions and queries regarding this application process. And when that is set up, I'll be here to give you the latest information. What if you are vaccinated? Quarantine will not be required if you are fully vaccinated with a booster shot and testing negative upon arrival given that you are coming from countries that have low cases of Omicron. However, this is the opposite for people coming from places to be considered hotspots of Omicron. If you are coming from a place that is considered hotspot and you have a booster shot, there is no special treatment. You will be required to quarantine for three days upon arrival if you test negative. The government on March 1st will announce places and label them accordingly. So check the list to know what is required of you when you arrive in Japan in March. And for those of you guys who are not yet vaccinated and are considering to do so before coming to Japan, these are the approved vaccines, Pfizer, Moderna, and AstraZeneca. If you are wondering, will I be able to use public transport upon arrival? The answer is yes. The government made an announcement that from March 1st, all international travelers will be able to use public transport from either Haneda or Narita Airport to your doorstep, which is fantastic news for those coming in March. Presently, no one is allowed to use public transport. So if you want to find out the options available for you, check out this video here. And finally, one of those things that have not changed and will still be required in March is a negative PCR test. This should be taken 72 hours prior your departure to Japan. Also, you will be tested upon arrival at the airport. So please take some precautions while you travel so that you don't get infected. All right, guys, there you have it. I hope this video helps you to get ready for that big move to Japan. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell to get the latest from this side. And thank you for watching. See you on the next video.